in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most precious fault. There are words of blessing in my heart, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. We are going to call the mercy of us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to A leading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. For one body does not consist of one member but of many. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then workers of miracles, then healers, helpers, administrators, Speakers in various kinds of tongues are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all work miracles, do all possess gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, but honestly desire the higher gifts, the word of the Lord.
the responsorial side. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock.
from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus went to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, behold, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. And he came out and touched the bear, and the, bar and the bearer stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak, and he gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has arisen among us, and God has visited his people, and this report concerning him spread through the all of Judea and all the surrounding country. The Gospel of the Lord.
do not die. The time of salvation has come. Then he gives us power, life. This is the mission of the church. To continue this miracle of life of Jesus Christ. The miracle of the resurrection. The miracle of turning around from facing in the direction of death and the grave, to the direction of the city, the new Jerusalem, eternal life. And that is where all means are comes. It's part of this mission of the church to continue the work of Jesus Christ. And what many must continue telling the members of society, do not deny. Do not deny. What many has to wipe the tears from the eyes of society. That's what your products are supposed to do. To wipe the tears from the eyes of society. Literally, I'm showing your products for several times. I'm almost sure you are. If you don't, please, why begin one today? But I know you do. When death strikes, and we know it's going to strike. How does all meaning sound respond? And in doing that, you are doing what Jesus did. Do not cry. We are here to support you. The mission of the church, the mission of Jesus Christ. And all the other products of all meaning circle are focused on this to participate in the mission of the church which continues the mission of Jesus Christ to bring back life and to remove darkness and death to help humanity focus in the direction of life the message of evangelization the minister is supposed to enable communities enable individuals
Please don't forget that you are a very beautiful man. For me, Those who pray so faithful to the past. Let us pray for the church. Lord, we ask the church remain steadfast and continually prepares people 
to live in anticipation of Christ's return, may we be ready to welcome him when he comes. We thank you for the gift of our bishops, our priests, the religious men and women, through whom we experience your presence in the sacraments. Strengthen them in their vocation and grant them wisdom, understanding, and fortitude needed to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, let us pray for our country. We pray that obedience, we pray for obedience to your laws, guides those who govern us. May all people, regardless of their creed or social status, live in peace and harmony, contributing to the peace of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord graciously us. Prayer for our families and youth. We ask for peace, love, and unity within our families. Instill in each member a spirit of understanding and affection for one another. May our homes be places of peace, purity, love, and faith. We also ask for your special protection of our children. Help us to fulfill our responsibilities, to support them in responding to your grace, and may they grow daily in the knowledge of love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant our youth self-respect and maturity so that they may respect others and grow independent, responsible adults. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the sick. Lord, look upon all who are ill with compassion. May your healing hand rest upon them. Adivate their fears and anxieties. Provide strength and courage in their moments of fear. And offer companionship and care to those who feel alone. Guide them when they are confused, ease their pain, and give them hope in terms of despair. May they feel your healing presence through the care and support of doctors and caregivers. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for the new Omini Sako branch in Kisumu. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the new Omini branch opening in Kisumu. We ask for your blessings upon this new endeavor. May it serve as a beacon of hope and support for the community, fostering economic growth and cooperation among its members. Grant wisdom and guidance to those involved in its operations, and may the branch thrive as a place of mutual support and prosperity. We pray to the Lord.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the working of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects are not our own desires. Look with favor on our supplications, O oh Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings that each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right. right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember our church spread throughout the world. Out of the fullness of charity, together with the Francis of our Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us, holy prayer, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her most just spouse and Joseph, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
50 plus plus years. And I think if I'm not wrong, one minute circle is in the equation. I think one minute circle is in the equation. <laughs> and many other things we thought about that, and I think we do the same here and there. But I thank you most sincerely. Those of you who are in this particular church today, and you are not members of our meeting circle. As I come over to the meeting, see the meeting where you live. Our meeting circle is first and foremost for the faith. So let us join our meeting circle. If you don't know why our meeting circle, we'll explain to you why our meeting circle. I hint at the picture at the beginning by saying, no, no, not all of us can have, have all the money to do all we want. And you can't wait until you have all the money to do what you want for you to do something. You can't. It will not happen. That is why we take advantage of institutions like our minister. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. You build a house at home. You take your children to school. You buy a means of transport. And so on and so forth. Many things. Don't wait to have all the money to do something. You will never do it. Let us learn how to save, to develop ourselves, and to evangelize. And that is why our minister is, is here. My name is in our minister, but somebody is written my name, I don't know why. <laughs> I see the name of the card. I am a member of our minister. Someone tried, attempted to remove my name from our minister. And the office is here. They have explained to me why they try to remove my name from our minister or yet a registered member. I have a number. I have a number. We have sought out this mystery today. So even myself, I am a member of And I invite all of you to join us in building our family of the and building the church. Thank you very much. It's a nice one. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, my sister. Thanks be to God. You know.